Alright guys, welcome back to another Football Manager 2019 video. This is going to be an Aberdeen team guide. And in real life, Aberdeen are having a pretty strange season. So after finishing second four years in a row, and in my opinion, Aberdeen fans have to be probably the most ungrateful fans in Scottish football uh, in, the, in the entire league. They're just giving Derek McKinnon no credit. And then this season, he has a pretty mediocre start to the season. The fans are on his back. They want him out. They seem like they'd be like 8th place in the league. Dropping away from, you know, the leaders. And then before you know it, they get a few wins in a row. They manage to defeat Rangers. They find themselves in another cup final. And they're like on the cusp of moving into the top 6. And I think they're only like 3 points behind Rangers. Who are in, what is it, 3rd? So Aberdeen, after a poor start, they've kind of turned it around a little. But we're going to look at Aberdeen, we're going to look at the club, we're going to look at the financial aspect, we're going to look at the transfer budget, the players, and we're going to see what you can achieve if you do an Aberdeen career mode here in Football Manager. So first of all, the club in the Ladbrokes Premiership, founded in 1903. Professional status is professional, got a national uh, reputation of three stars. Hibs and Hearts, I believe, are only two and a half, so... Interesting that Aberdeen are a half a star above them. Finances are okay and they are in the European Cup, which is the Europa Cup. Uh, Graham Shinney is the captain. Aberdeen only got two kits in this game. I'm not sure what they have in real life. I could be wrong. I thought they'd three, but only got two kits in the game. You see the Pataudry Stadium, 20,961 grass surface and the average stadium conditions. Now, the media prediction for Aberdeen is third, which I would probably agree with. If you if you look at the squads, I don't think you can argue that Aberdeen have a better squad than Rangers. I think Rangers do have a better squad now than Aberdeen. I don't think that can be denied. Uh, rivalries, fierce rivals, Rangers, historic. Derbies, you've got the new firm derby with Dundee United. Finances are okay. Owner status loves the club, but he won't put any money into the club. Uh, average ticket price 27 quid. Average season ticket price 350 quid. Season ticket holders only 10,800, so it's pretty low down, especially compared to Hearts and Hibs. Uh, Graham Shinney, as we said, is the club captain. Vice captain is Scott McKenna. Nicknamed the Dawn. Squad personality is determined. Right, so as for the competitions, how do the board want us to do? So the Ladbrokes Premiership board expectations qualify for Europa League, which is basically, I believe, a top three finish. A top fourth place in the league doesn't necessarily get Europa League spot. It depends on who wins the Cups. Uh, Scottish Cup ambitions is reached the semi-final. Betfred Cup is reached the semi-final. And the Europa League Cup has reached the fourth qualifying round, which could be pretty hard. Only Rangers did that this season. So I would expect that to be difficult. I thought Aberdeen were very unlucky drawing Burnley. I thought they played very well against them, but just couldn't get the job done. But there you go. There is the uh, the objectives, or the ambition that the, the club has. And they all seem doable, but I'm not going to lie to you, man. Reaching the fourth round of the Europa League qualifying could be pretty difficult, but we'll move on to the squad now and we'll check out what that is looking like. So, we'll go from goalkeeper all the way through to the strikers. So, goalkeepers, we've got Joe Lewis, Thomas Cerny and Danny Rogers, who is loaned out at the moment and currently injured, so you won't even have him for the first season. And look at Joe Lewis, undeniably the best goalkeeper at the club. Four-star rating, four-star potential. You can look at his stats, man. Very important player. Valued at 6.75 million. I actually didn't know he'd be valued at that much. That's crazy. I mean, I wouldn't even... I wouldn't even begrudge you selling him and making a, a massive profit. Think of all the money you could spend on the club. That is, that is a mental amount of money. I did not think he'd be worth that. But you look at his stats. 16 handling, 16 communication, 16 aerial reach. Agility, 14. Jump and reach, 18. Got a lot of good uh, stats here. One on one's 15. Reflex is 15. Just a solid keeper. No doubt going to be crucial for this Hearts, uh, not Hearts team, Aberdeen team. Um, right back position. They only seem to have one. Shea Logan. Very solid option. Three and a half star ability. 30 years old. He is getting a bit older now, but I think Shea Logan's still a solid player. And you see his stats. Solid enough, man. Decent. And there's definitely no need to 
I don't think you know improve on that position. Centre back, you've got Mark Reynolds who is out injured unfortunately for nine to ten months. That is going to absolutely suck. That's almost full year. He's two and a half stars. You've got Tommy Hoban who is loaned in and also injured. See, he's three and a half stars, four star potential. He seems a decent player. Currently valued at three point one million from Watford. They got. Michael Devlin, who they just brought in, he's got four-star potential. Scott McKenna, he he's the guy that everyone you know should be focusing on. If he's not, he we might need to build the team around him. Either sell him for a lot of money and improve the squad, or you build the team around him. Simple as that. He's still only 21 years old, heading 16, marking 13, tackling 14, positioning 13, bravery 14, aggression 15. 14 pace for a centre-back, which is pretty insane. 16 strength. And the guy's young. He's only going to get better and better. So, massive player for Aberdeen. No doubt about that. Star player at the club. Um, we've also got Andrew Constantine at left-back. Three-star ability. Got Max Lowe, who's on loan. He's also got five-star ability. On loan for Derby. Only valued at 850k, so not a lot of money. Perhaps you could even try and get him on a permanent deal. Because, like I said, 850k isn't really that much, especially for someone who's got five-star potential. We've got Graham Shinney. He's got a, he's a leader, he's a captain, he's he's everything. I think he deserves a Scotland call-up, there's no doubt about that. Uh, four-star potential. You see, he can play either left-back or in the defensive midfield or centre midfield role. And his stats, all solid. 13 crossing, 11 dribbling, 11 first touch. Tackling, 14. Technique, 13. Passing, 13. All solid stats, man. He doesn't seem to have any weak links in his game. Well, his finishing is pretty poor at five, so maybe just tell him to lay off on the shots. Uh, who else have we got here? There's Dominic Ball. Got Gleason, Tanzi, Forrester, who are all decent players, but no one outstanding. We've got Lewis Ferguson. Currently rated three-star ability. He's got five-star potential, though, man. This guy... Has got, you know, like I said, a lot of potential. Could be a future star for Aberdeen. Fouled at 450k, but I can only imagine if you give this guy regular game time, he will be worth a lot more than that. Even after one season, I'd expect him to be fouled at over a million. You look at his stats, man. They're all solid. Very good. And like I said, 18 years old, man. The guy's just going to get better and better. Already has two caps for the under-21 team. But Neil McGinn, solid winger. And Gary mckay Stevens. so... Both wingers at Aberdeen, four-star rating. You can't really go wrong with that, man. These guys should be good for at least in a couple of seasons. You've got Neil McGinn, I believe, 30 years old. Going to be around for a, a while yet. And then Gary mckay Stephen, 27. With Scott Wright, currently valued two and a half stars, four-star potential. Good backup if anything happens to McGinn or mckay Stevens. Uh, next up, you have Sam Cosgrove, another guy who is not that good at the moment but does have potential. Two and a half star ability, but five star potential. Seems to be a very physical player. Use him as the target man. His heading is 17, which is fucking crazy. Some at 21 years old to be that good in the air already. So, uh, balance 13, jump and reach 15, strength 15, off the ball 13, uh, teamwork 14. Seems like your typical um, Derek McInnes player. I think McInnes uh, would probably love Sam Cosgrove, the style of play. So he's uh, definitely crucial for Aberdeen. James Wilson is currently on loan from Man United, fired at 2.5 million. Probably the guy that you want to be using in your first season while you've got him. You see he's dribbling 14, finishing 15, first touch 13. Very good advanced forward type of player. Definitely different from... Um, Sam Cosgrove, they're definitely two different types of player. Maybe you could even play them both up front, you know. Could have Cosgrove as the target man and James Wilson kind of makes the runs off him. Acceleration 18, pace 17, very pacey player. Very good player indeed. And then the other striker option is Stevie May. Someone that I thought was fantastic at St. Johnson just hasn't delivered since coming back to Scotland, let's be honest. Followed at 425k, he's currently got three star potential or three star ability. But he has three and a half star potential. Right, let's have a quick look at the Aberdeen staff then. Got five coaching staff, two recruitment team members, and four medical staff. So staff here, not a big issue. Perhaps you could add another one or two, maybe another recruitment member, another coaching staff member. 
but nothing too bad at the moment. And in terms of transfers, the transfer budget is 400k with a wage budget of just over 5,000 per week. So there's definitely room for improvements there. Whether you need to improve with that Aberdeen squad, I'm not too sure. I think it's a good squad. I think you should definitely be able to fight, you know, for at least minimum of third in the league. But I think that squad is decent enough to give Rangers a go, especially if you're a pretty good manager and you've got experience with the game. So anyway, guys, let me know down below. What do you think of the Aberdeen squad and where would you expect to come with this team? If you're planning on doing an Aberdeen career mode, let me know down below. Let me know how you get on. And until next time, peace.